Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. Today we're coming to another DC animated movie, and this is one everyone's heard about. Wonder, Wonder Woman! <laughs> in antiquity, the Amazons defeat the war god Ares, and Zeus charges them to hold him prisoner as eternally young warriors on the hidden island of their mascara. Now, there it is the animated, not the live action. Right. <laughs> Centuries later, U.S. Air Force pilot Steve Trevor is lured to crash land on the island. He's lured. He what? has to crash land on the island. Right? And it's the distraction like, of the night trespass allows Ares to escape. In response, Princess Diana wins the responsibility to both take Trevor home and recapture the fugitive. Yes. And before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updates on future podcasts and world of applause videos. Yes. We actually watched this twice before yes. we in the podcast because it was that good. Right. And it had been so long because I remember that they had advertisements for this a lot. That's why this is one of the more popular DC animated movies. Mm-hmm. And remember, it was a long time before they did a sequel, which was The Bloodline. Right. They did it just, what, maybe a year ago? Which was awesome, and we'll be doing a podcast on that as well. Right. So, for this one, this is the one that started it all, and... We really enjoy seeing that Wonder Woman finally got her own movie because I know there were other movies out before this one, and there weren't, there weren't any about any of the female heroes. So seeing one about her was really great because right. it kind of foreshadows how long it takes to get a live action one. And this originally came out in 2009, and it had been on our wish list. We have a wish list of DC and Marvel movies. This had been on there a while. It stayed long enough that I was able to find it at. A dollar store for one dollar brand new. Mm-hmm. Woohoo! Right, so, a great find. Yes, yeah, so now we own it and some other DC movies I actually found around the holidays for one dollar each. So mm-hmm. thank you, Universe. Right. <laughs> so this Wonder Woman is voiced by Carrie Russell. Mm-hmm. And if you're not familiar with her and you love Adam Sandler like we do and you've seen Bedtime Story, mm-hmm. she played his sister yes. in Bedtime Stories. Yes. We also had Nathan Fillion as Steve Trevor. Alfred Molina. A.K.A. Doc Ock and Rippin as Ares. And Rosario Dawson was Artemis. And the fun fact is in Bloodlines, Rosario Dawson ends up voicing that Wonder Woman. Right. And we also had, uh, who else we had John DiMaggio in here as, uh, what was his name, Demos? Mm-hmm. And Vicky Lewis as Ferris Phone. That's the name? Persephone. Persephone. Man, it's what the heck? I got that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, who else is there besides Okay, Andrew now you Romano? can't forget Mark Helgenberger, Oliver Platt, Virginia Madsen, um, David McCallum, Andrew Romano, of course, who does the voice casting. Right. All these people in 2009, some of them are, well, they're all stars, but some of them were really huge during that time. Mm. And them being in this movie was a great c- coup. Right. <laughs> so yes, an all-star cast for an all-star movie. So we, this movie, we got to see how Wonder Woman was formed from the sand and it was sand it was, and it was blood, blood of yeah. her mom. Yeah, and I then got, the got lightning blood. from the from the from the Greek gods. And right. Stuff. Yeah. It was so like, she formed a, a a doll, I guess you could say. And she put a drop of her own blood on her forehead, and then Zeus right. sent lightning. And right. It, voila. Right. Diana. It's like, it's like oh, okay. <laughs> we were like, oh, why did she come around? Well, we were just how, like, oh, okay. oh, that's how Amazons are born. Okay. Right. <laughs> so the mystery is solved. And they didn't show any of the other backstory we know from the comics with Nubia as her sister and so forth. This one had, um, as we mentioned, some of the other... Um, Greek figures in mythology played a part in being on Paradise Island. Right. Off their mascara. Right. And they, you saw a little bit of the island before Street Trevor was there, so they kind of gave a little mm-hmm. more insight on what the island is, besides it just being a bunch of Amazons. Right. You can see the culture and how they are individually and how they're really strong warriors. And how so, they were forced to war because of Ares. Right. So then, when Steve Trevor comes, then no, it looks forget like to tell them that Wonder Woman's mom was a badass. Oh and yeah, she took absolutely. her sword and cut off Ares' son's head, and she went after Ares, and this was like, no, 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 you can't kill him. Yeah. And he was locked up for a time, 
and then you get some fun out. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to mention that uh, Ares, you know, was chained to be, you know, mortal for eternity. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It'll make him immortal, but okay. And, mm -hmm. and, and then... It's like, what does that solve? He's just gonna do right back the same thing if he gets a chance, and this that he did sure it. enough. Yeah. yeah it's, did, it's like, so. uh, you should have like kept a better eye on him. So continue. <laughs> okay, so for here when they hatch each other, a little thing that's kind of funny is that he has a bit of a southern accent in here when sort he's of. never had one before. <laughs> so I guess this version he has one. It's actually hilarious. Sort of. <laughs> and you see, it goes by the comic. Like, so this one pretty much adapts the origin story of Wonder Woman while Bloodlines kind of went through it in like three minutes. Here you get to see the story of how she went to the dub Man's World or in their version on uh, New York City or something. <laughs> and of her venturing out there and seeing what the rest of the world is like. Mm -hmm. And she was, you saw she was educated and reared and trained. And it was pretty quickly done, but you still got to see it as backstory, right. so you know. Right. It wasn't. Ju it wasn't just like here, 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 because right. the other movie they kind of sped through it. And then she earned her way into being able to take Trevor back to New York, New York City. Mm. And then she gets to New York, and the first thing that happens is a man, of course, wants to kick. Well, actually, that's not true. She went drinking with Steve Trevor, drank him on the table, or so he pretended. And then, of course, they decide to go walking out down the dark alley. It's like, why? Doing like all stories and movies. And then when someone asks, you know, then asks, give us your money, or blah, 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 then one of them gets to kick. Right. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, they even kept all the. There are actually quite a bit of action in here with the story. There was, yeah, a great amount of it, especially when it gets to the. Uh, last battle and it's sort of like almost apocalyptic and it's just in Washington DC it's like what are you trying to tell us <laughs> and she kept saying my mother warned me about men like you you're trying to seduce me you're trying to do this you're trying to do that <laughs> and it was just this repartee going back and forth between she and Steve Trevor <laughs> but um you get used to it it actually to a point it gets humorous and then of course by the end of the movie uh, there is an item but right. we ship Wonder Man Right, and I kind of laughed because at one point he said, "You know, not every single thing a guy does has to mean he wants to date you." <laughs> like that's just kind of what the Amazons kind of think is like every guy is just out to get the woman. It's like that's not everybody. Like you got quite a sum of that. <laughs> so I think the most standout parts are what you mentioned earlier with the fight scenes, especially when she was one on one, right, with different people, whether it was Ares or mere mortals. And then you got to see Steve Trevor show that he could hold his arm too. But for the fight scenes for Wonder Woman, they were pretty in depth, pretty exciting. Pretty and powerful you got to too. see her at one point when she first started fighting, she didn't even have her boots on. She was barefoot kicking butt. Then she decided to put her boots on and then she kicked butt some more. So that was hilarious. <laughs> right. <laughs> so if you have seen this version of the Wonder Woman animated movie, uh, starring Carrie Russell as Wonder Woman. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updates on future podcasts and want to pause videos. Absolutely. So you'll be able to see Bloodlines uh, when we do that review. Right. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Rascal Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a tuntastic day. Peace. Rivers and streams, plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket, give it to you.